I love lacy shawls, big, cozy, scrunchable shawls. They're wonderful for warmer weather. You can wrap up in them without having too much fabric. They're nice and lightweight, and they're great for carrying with you. Dantelina means lace, and this shawl is designed to mimic the beautiful gossamer strands of a delicate, lacy spiderweb shimmering in the dew. This magnificent pattern by Tatha Lorenzen is so gorgeous. It's got beautiful lacy stitches. It has fun little picots. It's just a two row repeat once you get the first few rows in and there's just so much to love. So first, let's talk about the size. Of course, you can adjust the size to be as small or as large as you like, but I just love that Tatha made this lusciously huge version. I have a special place in my heart for large shawls. They just feel so incredibly cozy. And here's a little wee version. You can wear it like a shawlette or even wrap it around like a little kerchief. This shawl is really cool because it is made up primarily of two repeating rows. So I would say it is definitely great for the adventurous beginner crocheter and I feel like you're going to memorize those rows in no time. You'll need fingering weight yarn to make this shawl and we chose our hand dyed moon gleam fingering which is a glowing super soft blend of cotton and silk. It's a lovely yarn for warmer temperatures as the fibers breathe really beautifully. Also sometime throughout this video I am going to tell you how you can enter to win two skeins of this. I recommend when making this pattern that you use natural fibers like this so when you're all finished with your shawl you can block it out beautifully and open up all of those gorgeous lacy stitches. You can download the pattern and get the yarn at expressionfiberarts.com. We're also going to put the links below for you. While you're there on the site, go ahead and sign up for email updates and we will send you weekly free knit and crochet patterns. So here's how you make this shawl. We're going to work five rows to get started. For row one, we're going to go ahead and start with a slip knot, pop that onto your hook, and then work chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now you're going to slip stitch into the fourth chain from your hook. Three and four. And this counts as your first pico. So now the next two chains count as the first double crochet under your pico. So you're going to go ahead and chain two, skip the next two chains, boop, boop, and then double crochet pico into this next chain. To work a double crochet pico, yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So just a normal double crochet. Then you're going to chain three and you're going to slip stitch under this leg here of this chain, the top of your double crochet and this little vertical bar. So into the top of your double crochet, which looks like a chain and into the vertical bar. So slip stitch into both of those and you've made a little pico on top of your double crochet. Now we're going to go ahead and work a chain two, double crochet pico in the same stitch five more times. So repeat what you just did five more times. Chain two, double crochet pico, which is just double crochet, chain two, three, slip stitch into the top of your double crochet and the ver vertical bar to create your pico and continue repeating that. Chain two double crochet pico. So once you finish up your final double crochet pico, just make sure that you have seven double crochet picots. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. For row two, you're going to turn and we're going to start with a chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you're going to skip the pico and you're going to single crochet into the chain two space. And you're going to work that three more times. Chain seven, three, four, five, six, seven, skip the pico, single crochet into the chain two space. So work that two more times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet into the chain two space. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, single crochet into the next chain two space. Now when you have four of those little loops, go ahead and grab some kind of opening stitch marker and you're gonna mark the chain seven that you just worked as the center of your shawl. So go ahead and plop that stitch marker into that. Now chain seven, three, four, five, six, seven, oops, seven, go ahead and skip the pico and single crochet into the next chain two space. Work it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the pico, single crochet into that chain two space. Now chain five, two, three, four, five, and you're gonna double crochet into the top of this double crochet here. Sorry, double crochet. Double crochet into the top of this double crochet here to finish off your row. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chain seven spaces. And this last one with the double crochet and chain five does count as a chain seven space. For row three, go ahead and start by slip stitching into this chain space here. And begin with a chain five, two, three, four, and five, and slip stitch into the fourth chain from your hook. One, two, three, and four. And this counts as a double crochet with a pico. So go ahead and chain two and work a double crochet pico into the same chain space. And we're actually gonna do that twice. So there's our double crochet, one, two, three, to make our pico. Slip stitch to finish off our little pico. Again, chain two, double crochet pico into that same chain space. Double crochet with a pico. Slip stitch. So it should look like you have three of those into that first chain space. Now you're gonna repeat across, chain two, single crochet into the next chain seven space, chain two. Now into the next chain seven space, you're gonna work double crochet pico. One, two, three. Slip stitch to finish off your little pico. Chain two, work another double crochet pico into that same chain seven space. One, two, three. These picos are so cute. Chain two and work another double crochet pico into that same chain seven space. One, two, three for our pico. So again, it should look like you have three of those. It looks like a little crown into this chain seven space. Chain two. Go ahead and single crochet into this center stitch here. While we're here, go ahead and move your stitch marker up to that new single crochet. Oop, so that is now your center single crochet. Continue across, chain two, and we're gonna work our little cluster of three here. So double crochet pico, one, two, three. Chain two. Double crochet pico into that same chain seven space. One, two, three. Don't forget your little picos. It can be easy just to start working regular double crochets as you get into this. Chain two into the same chain seven space. Work another double crochet pico. And, boop. and check that you did those correctly. Looks like a little three pronged crown. Chain two. Jump over to the next chain seven space and work a single crochet and then a chain two. And we're gonna finish off with our little three double crochet picots into our final chain seven space. Double crochet, pico, chain two. Double crochet, boop, boop, boop. Pico, chain two. And our final one, double crochet, Pico, beep, and there's that row. So for row three, you should have four of these little fan groups or little crowns, and then you should have three single crochets. For row four, we're gonna turn, and we're gonna start with a chain seven. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, and seven. Now you're gonna skip this first picot and you're gonna single crochet into the next chain two space. And do that again. Chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the next picot and single crochet into the next chain two space. Now chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're gonna skip the next picot the next chain two, the next single crochet, chain two, and the next picot. So you skip all of that and you single crochet into the next chain two space. Chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the next picot, single crochet into the next chain two space. Then chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the next picot and the next chain two space and here in the center stitch we're going to work single crochet chain five two three four and five single crochet so all of that into that center single crochet go ahead and grab your stitch marker and just move that up to the new center which is the chain five so then continuing on you chain seven three four five six and seven Skip the next chain two space and the next picot, and you're gonna single crochet into the next chain two space. Chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the next picot, single crochet in the next chain two space. Then chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the next picot, the next chain two, single crochet, chain two space, and the next picot, and single crochet into the next chain two space. Chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochet into the next chain two space. Then chain five, two, three, four, five, and you're gonna double crochet into the top of this little double crochet here, making sure you're on the outside of that picot. So that counts as a chain seven. For row four, you should have 10 chain seven spaces, boop, 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 and one chain five space here in the center. For row five, we're gonna turn and we're gonna slip stitch into this very first chain space. And begin with a chain five, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch into the one, two, three, fourth chain from your hook. And this counts as a double crochet pico right here. So then chain two, and double crochet pico into this same chain space and we're going to do that twice two three make your pico chain two we're going to another double crochet pico into that same chain space two three and there's your pico make sure that you have three uh, then go ahead and work chain two single crochet into the next chain seven space and then chain two again. Now here in the next chain seven space, you're gonna work double crochet pico, chain two, three times to make your little crown again. So double crochet pico. Chain two, do that twice more into this same chain space. Double crochet pico, chain two. Double crochet, one, two, three. Pico. Chain two. Single crochet into the next chain space. Chain two. Jump over here and work the three double crochet picots with chain twos again. Double crochet pico. Two. Double crochet pico. Chain two. Double crochet pico. And chain two. And when you get all the way across to your marked center stitch, you're just gonna work Make sure you've worked your chain two, then you're gonna work a single crochet into that chain five space. Go ahead and grab your stitch marker and make sure to slide that up to that single crochet. 
that's your new center chain two and then you continue repeating on this side what you did over here so your three double crochet picots in the next chain space Pico, chain two, double crochet, pico, two, three, chain two. Then in the next chain space, chain two, single crochet, chain two. Continue repeating across. And then when you, when you get to the end, go ahead and work your chain two and your final double crochet pico, and you're gonna stop there. So omit that final chain two. So for row five, you should have six fan groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, and five of your chain two single crochet chain twos between those. So one, two, three, four, and five. So once you've worked those five rows, here's how you work rows six and seven, which you're gonna repeat for the body of your shawl. Also, side note, I'm giving away two skeins of our Lens Flare Moon Gleam Fingering. And to enter, just make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel and go ahead and comment below mentioning a word that you love. It could be any beautiful word, just something that lights your heart up. Good luck. For row six, we're going to turn and we're going to start with a chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you're going to skip this next pico, so the first one, and you're going to single crochet into the next chain two space. And we're going to do that again. Chain seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip this next pico and single crochet into the next chain two space. Now chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're gonna skip the next pico and the next chain two, single crochet, chain two space, and the next pico, and then single crochet into the next chain two space. Chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're gonna skip the next pico and single crochet into the next chain two space. And we're going to continue repeating that till we get to our center. So chain seven, five, six, seven. Skip the next pico, the next chain two single crochet, chain two group, and the next pico, and single crochet into the next chain two space. Chain seven, three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to skip the next pico and single crochet into the next chain two space. When you do get over to your little center, you're going to go ahead and chain seven, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now skip the next pico and the chain two space, and here in the center single crochet, you're going to work single crochet, chain five, three, four, and five, and single crochet again, all into that center. Go ahead and grab your little stitch marker, move it up to that chain five space. And we're gonna continue down the other side of our shawl. So chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the next chain two space and the next pico and single crochet into the next chain two space. Chain seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the next pico, single crochet into the next chain two space. Continuing the same thing down, chain seven, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip the next pico, 
this next group here of chain two, single crochet, chain two, and the next pico, and single crochet into the chain two space. Chain seven, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the next pico and single crochet into the next chain two space. Chain seven, three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip the next pico, the next chain two, single crochet, chain two, and the next pico and single crochet into that next chain two space. Chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Skip the next pico and single crochet into the next chain two space. And when you do get to the end, go ahead and chain five, two, three, four, and five, and double crochet into the top of this last double crochet worked, making sure you're on the outside of that pico. So this counts as a chain seven. So for row six, we should have 14 chain seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and a chain five space here in the center. For row seven, let's go ahead and turn, and you're gonna slip stitch into this first chain space. Start with a chain five, two, three, four, five, and slip stitch into the fourth chain from your hook. So this counts as a double crochet pico. Now chain two and double crochet pico twice more into this same chain space. Double crochet, pico, chain two, and again, double crochet pico into that same chain space. There's our double crochet, here's our pico. Now we're gonna work a chain two, jump on over to our next chain seven space and single crochet into that. And then chain two. Then we're gonna work our little crown or our little fan group into the next chain seven space. So double crochet pico, one, two, three, to make our pico. Chain two, double crochet, double crochet pico again into that same chain seven space. Three, and boop, chain two, double crochet pico into the same chain seven space. One, two, three for our pico, and boop, and then chain two. So check and make sure you're good that you have one, two, three into that chain seven space. Jump over to the next chain seven space and single crochet. Work your chain two, and you're gonna continue repeating that across to your center. So make sure you have your little crowns and then your little chain two, single crochet, chain two. And I'm gonna continue going along. You can fast forward if you like or follow along with me. Into your next chain seven space, work your double crochet pico. Chain two. Double crochet pico. Chain two. This is very easy to memorize once you've once you've gotten started on it. Double crochet, pico. That's why I love crochet because it's so visual and you can really see exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So got your little crown in this one. So jump to your next chain seven space. Make sure you have your chain two. Work your single crochet into that next chain seven space and then chain two. We're just repeating. Go ahead and we're almost to our center. So in the next chain seven space, work your little crown again. So double crochet, pico. Chain two, double crochet pico, chain two. Well, I didn't do my pico, see? It's easy to forget your little pico sometimes. Chain two, and then another double crochet pico. Double crochet and one, two, three for our pico. And chain two. So make sure you have three. When you get to your center chain five space, make sure you have your chain two there Work a single crochet into that center chain five space. Go ahead and grab your stitch marker and move it up to that new single crochet, which is now the center, and chain two. Then you're gonna continue repeating down this side what you did on this side. So again, if you wanna fast forward, go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and work it for those of you that want to follow along with me. So in the next chain seven space, work your little crown. So double crochet, pico, chain two, Double crochet, pico, loop, chain two, double crochet, pico, one, two, and three, 
go ahead and double check. I always like to double check when I'm crocheting. It's super easy. One, two, single crochet into the next one. It's super easy to see what it's supposed to be looking like. And so I just always like to check as I'm going. Single crochet, so jump to the next chain seven space. Work your little crown or your little fan. Two, three for your pico. Chain two, double crochet pico, one, two, three, chain two, and double crochet pico to complete our little fan in this chain seven space. Oops, and pico, and chain two. So go ahead and double check again, it looks good. Jump to the next chain seven space and work a single crochet, chain two. Jump to the next chain seven space and you're gonna work your little crown, double crochet with a little pico. I think the picots add such a nice little touch to this shawl. One, two, another double crochet pico. One, two, and three. Chain two, another double crochet pico. One, two, and three. Slip stitch. Again, check, make sure you've got your little crown. Work your chain two, jump to your next chain seven space and work your single crochet. Now we're to the final space. Chain two and we're just gonna work our little crown into that final chain space. Double crochet with a pico. Nice and easy, chain two, double crochet with a pico. And remember when you get to the very end so let me finish that pico, chain two. You're just gonna work your double crochet pico. You're not gonna work that final chain two since you're on the edge. Just finish with your pico and you're done with that row. So for row seven, you should have eight of your little crowns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then in between those, you should have seven of your chain two, single crochet, chain two spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you're just gonna repeat row six and seven until a shawl is the size that you like, making sure to leave enough yarn for the edging. And the details for how to work that are in the pattern for you. And that's how easy it is to make this absolutely radiant shawl. We hope you love it. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Be sure to come back next week as we have an absolutely adorable top pattern to show you. So I'm super excited for that. I will see you then. Bye.